Hey, what's really good, guys? Welcome back to this back at uh, me. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. I have this uh, 2012 Ford truck E150 V8 5.4 liter engine. All right, and guess what we're gonna do? That's right. I'm gonna show you how to do the rear brakes. I'm gonna change the brake pads and the rotor. Okay. Uh, it's almost metal to metal that's why I'm replacing this part and but uh, so yeah come with me and I'll show you how to do this all right let's do a boom hey don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all right? Subscribe to the channel, contribute to the channel by uh, hitting the heart right right below this video. It says thanks. Click on that, all right? Uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, the feedback, put in the comment box. Anything you want to say, put in the comment box, all right? As soon as I see it, I reply, all right? So let's get it, let's do it. All right, I guess that's the best angle, all right? Um, I'm going to start by, let me give you a better light, is that better? Okay, we're going to use this 21, half inch, so it's not that difficult, it's right here. Oh, uh, and the phone is on the way. GP tied. Uh, you have to use a long bar, okay? Because it's pretty tight right there, so. I don't even want to help myself. At least I break loose. Now the one on top, it's a, it's a funny guy because there's not much space in there. So I'm gonna use a mix of our tools. This wrench. And this, it's a stanchion. It goes like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just gonna break it loose. Just on the other side. All right, so uh, I'm back. Let me give you some light. Is that better? I don't wanna give you too much light because then you can see this guy right here, this is the one that I'm telling you. Uh, it's a pretty uh, tight space, but you can do it though, you can manage. Um, Oh, there you go. Good. Good boy. Now I'm just going to be like, I move the light from here. Still see? Okay, good. Good, you can still see? Alright. So once you lose it, now you can go like this. Yeah, Shane. So, ooh. Once you do it like that, 
I'm gonna grab the uh, ooh, I don't wanna keep my my index. It's uh since it's, it's, it's getting better. It doesn't hurt like like before. It's getting there. Uh, let me let me give you a better angle now. Is that better? So now I'm gonna do the bottom. I did the bottom already, but uh, uh put it like Can you still see? Man, they put they put too much uh, lag tight. That's why it's this hard pulls. That's out. this out. The top, finish the top. Okay. Too much lag tight. Assholes. But you know what? Before you remove the bolts, I forgot to tell you. have to push this piston. How? With a pry bar. Uh, let's see if I have a space. I should. Just put it right here. Super Yeah, yeah. Let me grab a flat screwdriver. Take one though. Put a little hammer. This flat screwdriver looks like a chisel. It's not a chisel though. But it works as a flat screwdriver and a chisel. So you'll see it. You'll see it. This is just to uh, supposedly. Uh, make your job easier.
push the piston. Now, go above. Now you push the, push the pistons like this and the sim like that. Okay. And now you don't have to use the tool. And this is metal to metal. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can remove the bolts. Be careful, it's going to drop. Okay. Add this. There you go. I'll show you in a second how that looks like. Just going to put it right there. Next. And I hit with a hammer here. Just to lose it. Now I come out. Alright. You give you a better angle now. Alright. This place is too bright. The old rotor. Metal to metal. See that? Show you the pack now. This one. Almost there. Tiny. That's a hair. A hair right there. You see, you see it right here? Hmm. That's one. The other one. The other one is worse because it's right in front of the uh, pistons and the pistons push this first, you know what I'm saying? This is the one that I take most of the uh, friction, as you can see. Brakes. Right. I'll be back. For this, I'm just going to spray some uh, brake in there. Okay. Nine shame. be good. Now I'm just gonna put the new rotor. I don't need to clean the, the rotor. But before I put the new rotor, you see how rusty that is? I can brush it, but I'm not gonna brush it. I'm just gonna put some PV so you kill the rust. Like that, just a little bit though, all right? Pretty much. <coughs> now we'll put the new rotor. <coughs> the new rotor goes in. Okay. 
going on, chick? What's going on, right, chick? I'm showing you all this so you see what 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 problems I, I face. You know what I'm saying, and what you can do about it. Look like the shoes being funny. Hmm. Maybe I gotta lose it in the back. Should go. The rotor should go in without doing all this. Now it goes like it just go in, okay? Because I I lose it in the back. Now let me show you how it is. Uh, my bad. You hit in the back, right? You see that that gear? She hit it like that. You're gonna push it down, it's gonna spin, and it's gonna lose the, the, the shoes. Alright. Back to the front. And bring this down. So it can give you a better angle. Um, I gotta clean the bracket of the caliper. Should be good. Um, yeah, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so all I'm gonna do right here is, uh, I'm gonna have to clean this. You see, give you a better light. Put my gloves on. I'm gonna pop this, uh, let me give you a better angle. Okay, right there. I'm gonna pop this uh, clips. I'm just gonna use the new ones. Space for yourself. Now I'm gonna clean that. Uh... Oh, in a minute I'm gonna give you the parts number, okay? So. Parts number for the rotor. Made by Roto, Roto Max. Roto Max. Part number, this is a roto drum, right? Part number 2054162. All right, looks like it's a, a Pro Ray Bestos OEM. All right, you don't want this, I'm gonna throw it away. So 
do it real quick how I do it right here. See a difference? That's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this. that is because uh, when you put the uh, let's say you didn't clean it right and you just put in the new clips and then you put the new rotor, uh, the new brake pads the brake pads not gonna fit in because the rust is taking space you know what I'm saying so then you're gonna force that and then it's gonna be a stuck and you know what I'm saying so yeah that's that's why I do it the caliper which is over there is just sitting there right that's not gonna do nothing I'm gonna put the new clips. This thing gotta face out. All right, just like that. I'm saying how much time I have within 20 minutes okay not bad This one, you see it's different. This one is gonna go against the pistons. This one's gonna be outside. So this is inside, this is outside. Oh, part number for the brake pads. Evolution Plus, Power Top, part number 171329. Uh, this is ceramic brake pads hardware huh? pretty much how much time we got okay I'm gonna lube it Ooh. just hit myself 
I'm gonna loop this too. Okay, the steam is gonna go into the caliper. So might as well loop it too. Okay, let me take it to uh, what I'm gonna do with the, with the caliper in this. All oh, right, you need to see this. Pull this a little bit. The chair. Need that. This. I'm gonna put it like that. Pop. Put it in there like this. Let me give you some light. Now just push it in. Now it's in. With Gucci. Now we're going to put the brake pads. I might need this in a minute. So I'm just gonna need this. Now remember this one is gonna go against the uh, the rotor. So what we're gonna do is put it like this. Alright. Lift it a little bit there. The clip is on the way, it's just lift it. Just a little bit. Just to push it in. Lift it like that. So you go in. Good. Lift it here. Now it's all in. Alright. Good. And push it like that a little bit. So the other brake pad go in. This guy. And go like that. And it's gonna do the same thing. Like that. Lift this. There you go. Now mounted on the rotor. But before I do that, I'm gonna clean this. And I'm gonna put new uh, Loctite. All right, I'm back. All right, now, I'm gonna put some Loctite. It's a little bit though, it's clean. A little bit though, that's it. That's it, just a little bit. Oh shit, let me give you some light. Not bad, guys. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. That straight. Heavy doubt, that's right. Go top. Let's see. Okay, good. The one on top is good. Sheesh. One at the bottom. And the bottom is not all the way in. Or maybe I'm tripping.
sign it. There you go. Seems like it. Before you start turning it like crazy, give it a little. So you don't want to mess the threads, you know what I'm saying? You know the deal. Same thing here. Know the final thing just tie it make sure it's really tight more, more than that obviously no sense putting this in Should be good. That's why I put the lock tight. Now I'm gonna put the tire back and shut it with this Gucci. So right now I'm gonna step on the get uh, brake pedal. Okay. It's gonna feel soft a little bit. Then it's gonna get hard. Pause. Now it's hard. Pause. I'm gonna have to go to the front. This is how you open the hood. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over there and see how the uh, brake fluid level is. If it needs some, tap it off. If it doesn't need that much, just leave it alone. It's up to you. We'll come over here. Shook it, uh, shook it a little bit. You see that water? Match is right here. So, it's almost there. All right. We don't need to tap it off. It's all good. Now, road testing. Uh, if you don't hear for any sound in the back, then you're good, you're all set, alright? I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna road test it. And uh, thank you for watching, highlight your boy. I hope you like this video. Any questions, put in the comment box. Right below this video, on the screen, there's a heart, it says stance. Click on that so you support, support this channel, you know what I'm saying? By contributing to the channel. Uh, pretty much, shout outs to my subscribers, thank you for the support. Why would I be with all y'all? Thank you to my haters too. Uh, I love your comments. And catch me in the next one. I'm Maldi. I'm clacking now. I'm still